Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Anissa and I post a little bit of everything. So, uh, yeah, why don't you just check it out? Anyway, before we even get into the video, I know, I know, I know. You just watched a video, if you've been here before, of me bleaching my hair. I was all highlighted and cute. And now we're dark. Like, I don't... I didn't mess up. It's not like my bleach fell out, which I think a lot of people would think. I went, I loved the bleach, I loved the highlights for a little bit, literally only a little bit. I went and took photos and I noticed that my toner was already starting to fall out. It was already starting to like wash out. My hair doesn't hold toner very well. So I was like, you know what, maybe I'll tone it darker so then it has a lot longer to like fade out. So I was thinking about it and I was like, well, I also haven't been like close to my natural tone for my, my natural hair color for a long time and like I haven't been dark like ever so like what if we just do it so I toned my hair dark it's just toner it's not dye and go and throw hair dye on top of it it's just toner I can already tell it's starting to wash out because like the first day I washed I put it in it was like dark and like this wasn't even that light like there's already highlights kind of coming through which is really pretty in the sunlight it's beautiful I love it I'm digging it it's super new for me I know everybody's like my mom keeps saying I look super pale I don't care maybe I'm finally living out that goth dream I wanted to be when I was like 12 I don't know I'm not I'm not but it's pretty and I'm enjoying it for the time being I'll probably hate it and want to like wash out all the toner which I totally can with some bleach and not even like in like a 40 minute sit type of way just like bleach and shampoo super easy but like I'm I'm loving it right now so yeah, I know you just watched that video. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry if that like ruined your like dreams of watching me be blonde for like millions of videos after this. I'll be blonde again because I know I'll get tired of this. I'll be like, where are my highlights? So yeah, there's that. So I've been wanting to record a video like this for a long time, but I've been like, do I post it on Instagram? Do I post it on like TikTok where it's just like a three minute video or under? Do I post it on, on YouTube? So I'm like, maybe I'll just kind of do all three. Or maybe I'll just stick to YouTube first. It depends on how I feel when I'm editing this. And I'm like, oh, I can totally cut this down to three minutes. Or I'm like, no, it's just going to be a YouTube video. So it's just my empties haul, which sounds super weird. But every at the end of every month, I'm just going to compile everything that I've gone through and include it in a video. So, and then this will go up the month after. So this will be in August. This is my July haul because like what if on the last day of July I'm like I emptied this and I already recorded it and, like in July it doesn't make sense to me so that's why this is gonna go up like beginning of August and it'll be my July haul my July empties haul so a lot uh, just like warning to I want to do this pretty much every month but there will be repeats in each video because not everybody's gonna watch all my empty videos and there are some products in here that if I'm buying consistently and going through consistently like they deserve love they deserve love in every video they deserve all the praise because I'm actually spending my money on them being loyal because I am not a loyal customer half the time. So they deserve some love if I can be loyal to them because I am not a loyal customer half the time. It's a problem. It truly is. I swear to God, I love some stuff and then I'm like, but let me try something else. And then I hate that. And I'm like, why did I try something else? Let me go try something else instead of going back to the product I loved. So here we are. There are some products in here that I use freaking every day I love them to death I go through them every month and they deserve all the love um every haul won't like be just literally every single same product because there's some stuff in here that I don't go through for like some of these stuff like takes months for me to go through some of them literally only take a month to go through so it won't be literally like a majority of my haul is to be the same thing every single month it'll just be different each time so don't worry be happy Anyway, let's just get into the haul. So I put it all in this bag I have. This is an Urban Outfitters bag I had gotten a long time ago. It's the only thing I really like about Urban Outfitters is that when I go, they give me a tote and it makes me happy. Like I'll go buy a book from them and I get a tote. And it just makes me feel good because then I have a tote that I can use for the rest of my life. I have used this tote for so many things. So many things. So like, it makes me happy. But it's full of stuff and I'm gonna go over everything. I've gotten into this habit where if I don't like something, I still want to go through it and use it all because 
it would be a waste just to throw it away and for the most part the rest of my family won't use it so it's like I would have to throw it away I'm not going to or I could give it to a friend but like with COVID it's like I don't think anybody's gonna be taking stuff from anybody right for a little bit so yeah so for the most part I'm trying to get through stuff that like I just really didn't like and I'm just gonna talk about it here so this could be an empties haul where I'm like I absolutely love this unless it's burning my skin like it's going to kill me then I'll just throw it away I'll probably leave it like half full in this and I'll be like this is half full because I used it and it almost killed me yeah so anyway I don't think I have any of those in here but let's just get into it so for the first one this is the pattern intensive conditioner for tight textures this is the pattern beauty that I get Ulta I think you can get only at Ulta and then on her website as well this is from Tracy Ellis's uh, beauty line when I tell you it helps Wow like I feel like I deep condition my hair every time I use this when I shower I put this in why did I say shower like that shower when I shower I put this in I leave it in my hair for probably a couple like like a minute or two probably like two minutes I don't just like put it in and wash it out I put it in and then I wash my body wash my face and stuff so it sits in my hair and then I brush it all out in the shower and it feels like I just deep conditioned my hair this stuff is like a lifesaver my hair feels amazing my curls have been curlier since I've started using it it's literally the best thing in the world like 10 out of 10 this is something I, I literally just bought more of it um, I think this is the first time I've actually gone through a whole bottle so I love this stuff so much it is a little bit expensive you can get from Ulta everything I use uh, I'll show you the link down below you can get it from Ulta or her website by like using Ulta because I get Ulta points it is a little bit more expensive but it does last me a long time like I pile conditioner like I'm the type that has a mountain of conditioner they say only use a dime amount and I'm like nope I'm using a pile for my hair but it does last like a very long time so I love it I definitely recommend it 10 out of 10 would recommend definitely check it out so next we have the Carol's daughter wash day delight this is the dream detangler jelly to cream conditioner um, aloe one so I was sent the rose scented one by Carol's daughter an influencer a while back and I had my mom and sister try it out I had my mom try it out for my sister because she's little my mom does my sister's hair and they loved it because it literally like gets the detangles out it's it gets the tangles out it gets the tangles out so well it's amazing I absolutely love it her hair gets so tangled and it's great to get her tangles out it's great for my hair I use this to detangle my hair first then it leaves kind of a weird residue in my hair so then I go and condition my hair after and when I condition my hair it's literally just making my hair feel great but then there's no tangles so I'm not sitting there fighting my hair and continuing frizzing and breaking my hair by brushing it and brushing it like this really just like kind of like I always say melts it like just melts the cur like the tangles out it's just like the weirdest feeling because you put it in you leave it in for like a couple seconds and you literally just run your fingers through your hair and like all the tangles are out weirdest feeling the aloe and the rose one smell very odd the rose one my dad says always oh, smells like a grandma um, he doesn't like when we use it like my sister will take her bath and she'll come out smelling like all rose but it's more of like a chemical type of rose smell my dad's like she smells like a grandma <laughs> and it smells up the whole house the aloe doesn't smell like aloe to me it smells kind of odd but it's a lot lesser of a scent than the rose so I can actually deal with it the line says to just use the wash Delight delights shampoo and this detangler and you're done the detangler leaves a weird residue type feeling in your hair so I wouldn't recommend just using this I definitely use this and I go back with literally the smallest amount of, like how I say I use a mound of conditioner I use half of that for my hair just to make it feel better I don't use this every single time I wash my hair I try to wash my hair twice a week I only use this on Sundays when I do like my full wash day where I detox my scalp I do a detox my scalp shampoo my hair then I use this leave it in for a couple like for like a couple seconds to a minute brush it out which literally there's really no point of brushing it just all comes out there's no tangles then I go back with the conditioner take it all out do all that whatever Wednesdays I try to shampoo my hair uh, I try to wash my hair as well on Wednesdays I just do a normal shampoo and then I just do my conditioner I don't like to overdo my hair I don't want to strip it of all its oils and all of its like curls and stuff that's what makes it really frizzy and I hate it so that's what we're trying not to do so that's why I only use this once a week it did me it did last me a whole like month and a half because I was only using it once a week and I was only using a little bit you don't need a lot which is surprising because I have a lot of hair so I definitely recommend this it's a eight 
out of 10 for me just because the scent and then the residue type feeling you do still have to use conditioner with it and the scent is very strong so you like if you're really sensitive to smells probably not the best for you because it's strong next is the curl smith moisture uh, memory reactivator i love this stuff i talked about this in my video where i talk about all of my curly hair products styling products whether i like them or hate them this was in there and I raved about it. It's my favorite product. This actually took me forever to get through. I bought this two or three months ago and I just went through it and I just had to buy a new one. I use this pretty much every day. Days where I'm like just gonna hang out around the house and I'm not gonna be doing anything. I don't use anything. I leave my hair in my ponytail and I just like don't touch it. I'll probably add a little oil just for like main, uh, maintenance type things. But like when I need to do a video or whatever and I just woke up and my hair was in a ponytail, was pineappled and everything just wants to stay upward like that i spray this in and it just feels amazing it's a lot better than using water for a while i was using the water and leave-in conditioner or water and conditioner mixture it literally did nothing for my hair it just made my hair frizzy rather than texturing the curls back this really keeps the curls coiled and makes the curls feel good i i love it it's literally like my holy grail if I had to pick one thing out of all of my curl products I had to use, I would keep using this. I feel like if I were to get out of the shower and this is all I had, I could use this and be fine. So this is a 10 out of 10. I definitely recommend it. And you can get this from Ulta as well. I don't know where else you can get it as Curlsmith from. But again, I like Ulta because I can get my Ulta points. So next is the Acai Your Boobies Lifting Boob Polish Firm and Titan from Truly Beauty. I wish I always recommend this to people and people are like did it act does it actually work and I'm like I wish I had taken before and after pictures because at first I was like how do you take before and after pictures of your chest without being like provocative now I'm like I wish I had thrown on a bralette and taken pictures of how my ch like how flat my chest was in the bra like I'm not flat chested I'm a double D but like my breasts weren't so lifted while in a bralette and now they're like pouring out of a bralette like it they've just become so lifted and it's like they say it's like plastic surgery in a bottle it literally is i'm obsessed this is the um one that's acai and dragon fruit and retinol and everything smells amazing it's my favorite one it's uh it's the one that's purple this is the exfoliating one so you use this one in your in the shower you exfoliate your, your breasts with it i also use it on my stomach area too i know that my stomach the stretch marks on my stomach have like been lesser if that makes sense um but i definitely wish i taken before and after pictures because this is my favorite stuff i literally just bought more they had a i don't know if they still have it i'll link this one and also if they have the one i'm talking about down below but the, i don't know if they still have it. it's the nice melons one it smells like watermelon it's great for summer I don't think that one has retinol in it though so it's like totally fine if you're sensitive to retinol but I love that one too I've been using that one literally does the same stuff for me um, the only thing with that one though is I do notice I have been getting acne on my chest this one when I was using this one I I am prone for acne on my chest I sweat I get acne all on my chest when I was using this I got literally no acne and while using that one I'm getting like little small bumps here and there where like I scratch it and it's gone basically but with like before at using anything for my chest I was getting like giant zits on my chest it was so embarrassing so I, the retinol def definitely helps retinol is great for acne and blemishes and stuff I just wonder if because that one doesn't have retinol but it's still like a like an exfoliator it's still kind of doing the job of getting rid of acne while also not being like a medicated retinol so it's not getting rid of it I definitely recommend this I definitely recommend this with the line this one you tend to get like go through a lot faster than the whole line which is the uh, the serum and then the shea butter I think it's shea butter but it's the whole line is just amazing I have I use the serum and the uh, the butter daily and I'm probably not gonna need more of that for another like, two or three months so the the whole line is definitely worth your money because those two things I use daily and it's like I won't need to buy them again for a while it's just that this one you definitely need to keep buying of because you just go through it in the shower you're just always going through it especially if you have bigger breasts you will be going through more because you're just scooping it out um that's it though I will put a link down for this below because I have a 20% off so if you use the link and buy from it you'll get 20% off and it's great because 
who doesn't want 20% off? I mean, like, you're saving money. Are you made of money? If you're made of money, then don't use the link. But, like, if you're not, and you're like, I'm looking for a quick buck to save, then use the link. So, I'm saving you some money. So, anyway, this is a 10 out of 10. Definitely recommend. I forgot to mention that I'll have samples in here, too. Like, they won't be, like, the stupid sample packets that you get there on, like, paper that you rip open. But, like, they'll be, like, the good size samples that last me a little bit. So this is the Shiseido Essential Energy Moisturizing Gel Cream. This was a sample I had gotten, but lasted me like two months, three months almost. Um, it was literally great. I mean, it was deep. This doesn't even seem like a sample. It was, how big was it? It was an ounce, but like you didn't need a lot of it. It definitely covered your face the way it needed to. It was, it's amazing. The only thing I have a problem with is that's a lot of money. Like I, I love it. I love it. I'm on the hunt looking for more moisturizers because growing up I never used moisturizers, especially when I got into high school or even like right out of high school, like my first year of college, whatever. I wasn't using moisturizers because I, I had always been taught if you have oily skin not to use moisturizer or whatever because it makes your skin oilier. So I was like, that makes sense. I'm not going to use moisturizer. So, but now that I'm like treating my acne and I've gotten my acne down, which then dries my skin because the acne products I use dries my skin i need a moisturizer to combat that dryness to then make sure i don't keep getting acne and more issues and i need moisturizers and when i've gotten the sample i was like i'll use it it's a sample i need a moisturizer i love it i was using it twice a day just a little like bop on my finger tap it in my places and just rub it in literally best stuff ever i i definitely think i want to get more of it but i did just order from sephora a couple different um moisturizers that i want to check out and see if I like those more because this was definitely this is definitely more expensive I looked it up and I was like oof oof I don't remember how much it was but I just remember going oof that's expensive so definitely something that is worth looking into if you're like I don't care about the money aspect I just need something for my dry skin girl it's this but if you're like I have a budget I definitely recommend waiting and like checking out some other stuff. Maybe I'll make a review video of the moisturizers I check out and get from Sephora when they get here. I don't know when they're getting here, but yeah. So this was a thing. Um, I definitely love it. I give this like a six out of 10 just because it did work. It's amazing. I just can't imagine. And you know, I don't know how much bigger the bottle is. I'll link it down below. I don't know how much bigger the bottle is for, I think it was like $50 for like the full size thing it's like yo I want good skin but I don't want to pay the money so that's my thing it's just the money aspect of it the whole thing is great though I love it. it's so cooling especially if you put it in a skincare fridge or if you just put it in the fridge if you don't have a skincare fridge but if you just put it in the fridge and use it amazing my like it just feels so cooling at the end of a long day you just put it on you're like <sighs> yeah so six out of ten i wish i could give it more it's just like money i guess if i was made of money i'd say 10 out of 10 but i'm not made of money so uh she's a six this is the miss flower and mr honey cream from vanilla company i had received this uh from vanilla and influencer a couple months ago and i just like never really used it so when i first got it i thought it was meant for like body it was like a body type of cream but I found out it was actually meant for your face and I tried using it on my face and I hated it. It's really thick and it smells like honey. I totally like the smell, it smells like honey. So if you don't like honey, there's that. But it's really thick and my face didn't like, wasn't liking to soak it in. So it just kind of sat on my face and made my face feel greasy and felt like I actually had real honey on my face when I know it wasn't like I poured honey on my face straight out of a bottle but it felt really thick and gross. I just hated the feeling of it. So I just started using it on my hands. I am really prone to dry eczema on my hands. I was using my hands, my hands like to soak it up and my hands liked it. So I was just using it literally anywhere but my face. I was really fine with it. Um, I don't know, it's just really weird. It's meant for your face though. Like I, I looked it up. I actually had done a video on my Instagram when I had received it of me putting it on my hands and then i went to ulta which is where it's sold i went to their webs i went to ulta's website and i found it and it said it's meant for your face and i was like oh i'm not taking the video down i mean like i i don't care but yeah i just don't like it for my face so i mean for like your hands or anything else like 
8 out of 10. But for your face, I like, if you have sensitive skin like me, and then, like, I don't know, your skin doesn't like to soak stuff up like me, I definitely give it a 3 out of 10. Because it just wasn't my favorite. So, yeah. Next is the Origins Checks and Balances, the Frothy Face Wash. It's... So I have held on to this one for a long time. I had gotten it because Ulta was doing like a thing where it was like spend this much money and then you get like a kit like full of just samples. And I was already going to spend the money. So I was like, I may as well just like put the coupon code in for the kit. I don't care. So I did it. And when I received the kit, this was in it. And I was like, I don't really need that much like, you know, face washes, whatever. I don't care. So I put it off to the side and recently I went through my face wash. Finally, it took forever for me to get through it. And I loved it. But I was like, I need another face wash. But I was like, wait, I'm not gonna buy one. I can, I have my samples. So I went through all my samples. I have quite a few. But this one just seemed really nice. Just a frothy face wash. So I decided to pull this one out and use it. I got through this sample very quickly. I actually went through it within like two, two weeks, I think. Yeah, it was like two weeks I got through it. Because it's small. I mean, it's, how big is this? It's an ounce. And if you wash your face, I was using this like every night. So I definitely went through it very quickly. But it's so soothing like it just it does froth and it just like makes your skin feel great it just like feels like it's just pulling all the impurities out of your skin it's just really nice um i don't know i definitely would try getting it again i would definitely like buy it i don't know how much it is i didn't look it up i'm scared of looking up origins products i know origins a little bit more expensive and i fall in love with their products all the time but then their stuff is really expensive so here we are um, like with the Shiseido, it was more of one of those things where I was like, I've never really used Shiseido, let me look it up. And I was like, oh, that's depressing. But with this, I'm like, I just know Origins really expensive. The only thing that I'll buy that's like not expensive from, or that's pretty expensive from Origins is their, uh, their face scrub because it just feels really great. I very much enjoy it. So, uh, yeah, there's that. So this is definitely a 10 out of 10. I'm gonna give it a nine out of 10, just cause I know Origins is gonna be really expensive. So this is a nine out of 10. I love it. But Origins is a bit expensive, especially for face wash. But I may just have to buy it again because I love it. It feels amazing. If you're looking for a face wash, especially if you have sensitive skin, acne prone skin, I definitely recommend try just looking into it, trying it out because it just feels good. So this is the Curl Smith uh, Curl Conditioning Oil and Cream. I've talked about this one too before. It literally is amazing. Holy, holy grail. Don't know how I lived without it before. Like, I started using it. I use it in the shower right after I condition. I just put it in and I brush it in into my hair. And it just makes my curl. Because in the shower after I, I condition my hair and brush it through, my hair just kind of goes limp. And when I put this in and brush it through, my hair starts coiling really quickly. I like to do it in the shower when my hair is still really wet because it activates really well with wet hair rather than damp. So I put this in and then with the damp hair, it just really, with the wet hair, it just really starts coiling and once I get out of the shower, I'm able to put everything else in and it just really makes a difference. I've tried using all my other products without this and my hair just doesn't hold up the same, especially after a couple days. It just doesn't hold up the same at all. So I definitely recommend just trying it out and using it while you're in the shower brushing it through in the shower and then going ahead and doing all your other products if you don't like it you don't like it but it's my favorite i love it to death it's i just had to buy more of it the only thing is that um i've talked about this in my other video too is that they have a bigger bottle that's i think 40 dollars it's definitely worth getting but the bottle sucks i actually just bought it because i'm going to save this empty container I'm gonna squeeze that bottle into this and fill it up and then when I'm almost out of this I'll just keep filling it and refilling it because I hate that squeeze bottle it just does not work and especially like when your hands are wet it just doesn't squeeze I I don't believe in squeeze bottles I think everything should have like a little nozzle on the top you know just like a push nozzle I I don't believe in it or just be a scooper like this I don't I don't believe in squeeze bottles so yeah this is a 10 out of 10 though I'm not gonna rant in this video. I ranted in my last video. I'm not gonna do it in this one. The so last up, this is the Goop Beauty Goop Glow Glow Lotion. So this was another one I had received from Goop Glow Plus influencers. Got it for free, just try it out. And this was just a little sample. Um, I wasn't super impressed. I mean, it kind of, it soaked into my skin really well. The scent 
wasn't the best. So soaking on my skin wise, 10 out of 10, totally did its job of moisturizing doing that. It didn't last long though. I felt like with other things like the Shiseido, my skin stayed moisturized for a very long time. When I used this, my skin only felt moisturized for about an hour. So that was an issue on its own. So like that was like a five out of 10 because it just didn't stay moisturized. The scent, when I first got it, I think the scent was kind of more of like a natural earthy kind of scent. So I was like, oh, it's kind of nice. But then as I kept using it, I was like, I really don't like the scent like I was trying to give myself like I was trying to give the benefit of the doubt and I'm like oh it's earthy it's cute I like the scent and then as I kept using it, I was like they could have used so many other earthy like natural scents in it this smells awful no I'm playing with it it just was not my favorite it just did not smell good I was not a fan of it but I finished it off because I was like what else am I gonna do with it I just wouldn't get it again um on influencer when you get products you're also put into a community where other people got the same product as you and everyone in the community was saying it smelled like cigarettes and while i don't think it smelled like cigarettes i could definitely see where they're like it just smells bad <laughs> so if a lot of people are agreeing and saying it smells like cigarettes i think there's a problem and i don't think it's worth the 50 dollars or 60 dollars or however much it was it was a lot of money but yeah i don't think it's worth that much money if it smells like that so yeah this is definitely like a 2 out of 10 it just was not my favorite I would never buy it again no but if it was like the only thing that was left that i had like in the world like only moisturizer left i would definitely use it still because it just did still do its job i would just have to keep reapplying every hour because it just did not do its job for longer than an hour so there was that. So now the Urban Outfitters bag is empty and it's ready for my August empties haul. I don't know what words were about to come out of my mouth. My August empties haul, it's ready for that. And yeah, that was it for the video. I hope you enjoyed this. If there's any products in here that you have any questions about or any products in here that you're like, I absolutely love that. And you're like, I hate that. Let me know below because that's always fun. I'd love to know your opinion on things. So let's start a conversation in the comments. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.